Hi, so we have one more problem to convert a decimal into a rational number. This is a slightly tricky problem. What is the trick? If you see this number, which is 0 0.2252525, properly, here actually the whole portion after the decimal is not getting repeated. Let me write it again. The number is 0 0.2 then we have 252525 two, this 25 is repeating itself in finite times so this number actually can be written as 0 0.2 and 25 is repeating itself in finite times that means we can put this bar only over 25 right and this extra 2 we have over here so how to solve this kind of problems let's assume this as equal to x so if x is equal to 0 0.225 repeating itself so you can have a number like this you can have decimal and then you have a set of digits which are not repeating themselves and after that you can have another set of digits which are actually repeating themselves so what to do in such cases first you multiply this number by 1 followed by the number of zeros in such a way that all these non-recurring digits come on the left hand side of the decimal right so since here we have only one digit I'll multiply this equation number 1 by 10 and if I multiply it by 10 I'll get 10x is equal to 2.25 where this 0.25 is repeating itself in finite times right let me call it as equation number 2 and now if you see this form properly you can solve it very easily now right what I have to do next next I have to multiply this by 100 so at least one set of these recurring decimals comes towards the left so let's do that so if I multiply both sides by 100 I'll get 1000 X is equal to 2 to 5 point 25 repeating itself in finite times let me call it as equation number 3 right and now if I do equation number 3 minus 2 thousand X minus 10 X will give us 990 X's and this will be equal to 225 point 25 minus 2.25 where this 0.25s are repeating themselves in finite times so this recurring 25s will get cancelled and we have 990x equal to 225 minus 2 is 223 right and from here we will get x is equal to 223 divided by 990 right so this was the conversion of the decimal numbers into rational numbers where you have a set of non-repeating decimals and then you have a set of repeating decimals then you can follow this procedure and solve these kind of problems right so this was all about converting decimal numbers into rational numbers and after this we are actually going to take few more type of numbers and try to find relations between them right so keep watching MathSmart